morning, everyone. On behalf of our pastor, Father Edwards, and myself, we welcome you. Holy Rosary Church, Mary Mother of God Parish. I continue to celebrate the sacred mysteries of our faith, the death and resurrection of the Lord Jesus. Today, especially, we honor one of the greatest sinners who became one of the greatest saints in the New Testament, St. Mary Magdalene. So let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Thank you. Let us call to mind our own faults, failings, and sins, and ask the Lord for a generous and bounteous mercy. Please join me in the confidier. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. To my fault, to my fault, to my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us and give us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O oh God, whose only begotten Son entrusted Mary Magdalene before all others with announcing the great joy of the resurrection, grant me, pray, that through her intercession and example we may proclaim the living Christ and come to see him reigning in your glory who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, the love of Christ impels us once we have come to the conviction that we died for all, therefore all have died. Indeed, he died for all, so that those who live might no longer live for themselves, but for him who for their sake died and was raised. Consequently, from now on, we regard no one according to the flesh, even if we once knew Christ according to the flesh. Yet now we know him so no longer. So whoever is in Christ is a new creation. The old things have passed away. Behold, new things have come. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm is, my soul is thirsting for you, O Lord, my God. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord, my God. O God, you are my God whom I seek. For you, my flesh pines and my soul thirsts, like the earth, parched, lifeless, and without water. Thus have I gazed towards you in the sanctuary to see your power and your glory. For your kindness is a greater good than life, and my lips shall glorify you. Thus will I bless you while I live. Lifting up my hands, I will call upon your name. As with the riches of a banquet shall my soul be satisfied. And with exultant lips, my mouth shall praise you. You are my help, and in the shadow of your wings I shall for joy. My soul clings fast to you. Your right hand upholds me. Mary, 
what did you see on the way? I saw the glory of the risen Christ. I saw his empty tomb. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. On the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb early in the morning while it was still dark and saw that the stone removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved and told them, they have taken the Lord from the tomb and we do not know where they put him. Mary stayed outside the tomb weeping and as she wept, she bent over into the tomb and saw two angels in white sitting there, one at the head and one at the feet where the body of Jesus had been. And they said to her, woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, they have taken my Lord and I don't know where they laid him. When he had, she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus there, but did not know it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, woman, why are you weeping? Whom do you, are you looking for? She saw that he was the gardener and said to him, sir, if you carried him away, tell me where you laid him and I will take him. Jesus said to her, Mary, she turned around and said to him in the book, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, stop holding on to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father, but go to my brothers and tell them I am going to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord, and then reported, what he told her. The Gospel of the Lord. <clears throat> if we have really any doubts about God's great mercy and his ability to forgive us of our sins, all of our sins, be they slight or be they grave. The feast of Mary Magdalene certainly is a comfort to all of us. As I mentioned at the beginning of Mass, she was one of the greatest public sinners was converted and had, I believe, seven demons expelled from her life, from her body and her soul, and became a very intimate part of the ministry of the Lord Jesus as he continued to teach and preach and heal. And she was also privileged to be the first to see the empty tomb and to report to the apostles what she experienced. She's called the apostle to the apostles. And Peter and John ran to the tomb and they too saw the empty tomb. But Mary stayed there. And the angels said to her, why are you weeping? And then she heard another voice say to her, why are you weeping? And she turned and thought he was the gardener, but it was Jesus himself, resurrected, and told her to go and tell his, the brothers what she has experienced, the first to witness the resurrection of the Lord Jesus from the dead. Many, many, many years ago, when I was in the Holy Land, I had the privilege of celebrating Mass in the little chapel of St. Mary Magdalene, which is a short walking distance in this huge basilica where all of this, the, the, the crucifixion, the burial of Jesus, uh, the resurrection of Jesus took place, and so on and so forth. And I had the privilege of preaching uh, in this little chapel of St. Mary Magdalene 
and it was a great honor for me. And uh, I realized that our God is a God of the living, and he wants us to be people of the living. He dispenses his graces, his blessings, his mercy upon you and me, as he did upon Mary Magdalene. And as Mary drew closer and closer to our Lord, as the scenario goes on, you and I too are to grow closer and closer and closer to our Lord. That's why we're here, to hear his word, to hear the good news of his resurrection. That's why we're here, to partake of his Holy Eucharist, his bread and wine that becomes his body and blood for our spiritual nourishment. We become more and more intimate with the Lord Jesus, as did Mary Magdalene, and means that you and I uh, hopefully will have our place secured for us in the great kingdom that Jesus and the Father and the Holy Spirit have prepared for those who love him. May I invite you to stand now together, let us offer our prayers and petitions to the Lord, knowing that he hears and answers our prayers. The response will be, Lord, hear our prayer. For all church leaders, that they may always be attentive to the promptings of the Holy Spirit, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an end to terrorism in the world, and for peaceful resolution to all conflicts between nations, especially in the Ukraine, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the containment and eradication of the COVID-19 virus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of those who asked us to pray for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Andy, Bisraglia Sr., Andy Bisraglia Sr., for whom this Mass is being offered. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. As we turn to St. Mary Magdalene today, so too do we turn to our Blessed Mother as she continues to walk with us in our journey to eternal life and seeking her intercession as we all pray together. Hail Mary, By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share the divinity of Christ, who humbles himself to share in our humanity. Through the divine work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Sacrifice, we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me from my sin. Let us all stand and pray. Grateful for God's mercy in our lives, 
that your sacrifice and mine today on the Feast of St. Mary Magdalene will be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. Accept, O Lord, the offering presented in commemoration of St. Mary Magdalene, whose homage of charity was generously accepted by your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God for your praise in the company of St. Mary Magdalene and all of your saints, and in the crowning of their merits, you crown your own gifts. By their way of life, you offer us an example. By communion with them, you give us companionship. By their intercession, sure support, so that encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses, we may run as victors in the race before us and win with them the imperishable crown of glory through Christ our Lord. And so, with angels and archangels and all the great multitude of the saints. We too sing the hymn of your glory as we out end we all acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Bless you as you come in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. of our holiness, make holy their please good we pray by sending down your spirit upon them let fall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. I will be prayed in the middle of the past we took bread and given thanks broke you the saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. Away when supper was ended, the chalice and once more giving thanks, handed it to the disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood. The blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Giving thanks, we have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we were gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them, Lord, into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her devoted spouse, Saint Mary Magdalene, St. Anne, St. Joachim, and all of the blessed apostles, martyrs, and saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. May we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. May praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. With sincere, sincere prayers, let us pray as our risen Savior Jesus himself has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, 
Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and grant us peace in our days. And by the help of your mercy, may we always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, but not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you this morning. Let us happily share that peace with one another. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter.
love of Christ compels us so that those who may live no longer for themselves, but for him who died for them and was raised. Let us pray. May the holy reception of your mysteries, O Lord, instill in us the persevering love with which St. Mary Magdalene clung most keenly to Christ her Master, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Lord be with you. Amen. Now, Almighty God, bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. We'll now have the Novena Prayers in honor of St. Anne.